Our reality is that we all enjoy living on the coast. But we also have to face the reality of the times that we're living in. Climate change is happening and it's happening now. And we are experiencing changes with regards to the um, height of the tides that we're having. And we need to work together with regards to protecting our coastline. Um, our hard structures are there to protect us, but they don't work by themselves. Mangroves complement them. And in some communities, very vulnerable coastal communities, mangroves are our only protection. With its near 430 kilometers of bustling urban settlements and dense mangrove forests, Guyana's coastline is a powerful natural resource. 90% of Guyana's human population is centered on the narrow strip of coastal plain, on an area representing just 7.5 of Guyana's total territory. The majority of the country's GDP, in addition to the majority of the country's domestic foodstuffs, are a product of the area's rich soils and many waters. This combination of factors puts the coastal zone at the center of Guyana's new National Development Plan until 2040, the Green State Development Strategy. Within its role as a wide-reaching social and economic development plan for Guyana, the GSDS offers a clear path forward for bettering the nation's coastal defenses and protecting the country from the threats posed by overtopping to agriculture, livestock, and infrastructure. What a strategy aims to achieve. I believe um, as a ministry, we have already had a, a forced jump, so to speak, because most of what the strategy sets out to achieve, we have already started that a long time ago in our designs and our flood protection approach. And, uh, you know, the, the old issue of climate change, it's real. Um, by now, we, you know, we've come to that place where it's really happening. And uh, we have to be in that state of readiness. And from, let's say, a decade ago, um, we have already uh, initiated our response. So how will this be achieved? One of the main areas in which the GSDS will protect coastal defenses is through the management of mangrove forests. When we're talking about mangroves in our communities, we're also talking about what you call cruda or cruda bush. These are nature's defenses against the heavy wave action that we would experience on the coast. Mangroves are important in that they not only dissipate wave energy, protecting vulnerable coastal communities, our livelihoods, our homes, and our income generating activities, but they also support coastal birds, species, um, the crabs that we love so much. The fishing community and fishermen depend on mangroves as they also provide a nursery for juvenile fish. Despite these obvious advantages, it is estimated that since 1992, Guyana has lost three quarters of its mangrove cover to human-driven deforestation, leaving only the seawall to protect coastal communities. In working directly with local communities and assessing the reasons that mangroves are being depleted in the first place, the GSDS will transform negative actions into positive ones. We've used mangroves as firewood. Um, there are some communities that have used mangroves um, to produce burnt brick for road construction. Farmers have used mangroves um, for their garden. So we've done a number of pilot projects, such as um, apiculture, have training persons to do beekeeping and rear bees in the mangroves, and then work with them to promote their mangrove honey. Uh, we also have a tourism pilot project at Victoria where we've trained to community tour guides. And it's a very interesting mangrove heritage trail tour that we have been building over the years. And that provides an, a livelihood and income for persons in that community. And it serves as a very important education and awareness program. The GSDS will therefore put in place similar measures for protecting, restoring, and sustaining the seawall as it will for mangrove forests. These will involve undertaking surveys of existing defenses, replanting and rebuilding through community engagement, 
and creating public awareness campaigns to promote the importance of sea defences.